I've been all too excited to share my kitchen reno journey with you guys and I have to tell you, one of the things that I knew was coming was an epic post reno cleanup. So rather than just doing it like a normal person, we're gonna set up a bunch of cameras and film it for you so that you'll know step by step how to effectively clean up after any post reno job. Now, before you start cleaning, I want you to go over to cleanmyspace.com slash reno because I have all of the instructions laid out in a blog post for you and I even have some extra tips that I just couldn't squeeze into this video. So please make sure you check it out. Now, obviously you can see just how dusty my kitchen has got over the past four or five weeks. There is dust on literally every surface whether it's vertical or horizontal, there are dust in places I didn't even know existed, and frankly, I just wanna get rid of it. So the best way to get rid of dust is to start by vacuuming. Now, if you have copious amounts of dust in your home, your regular vacuum might not be able to handle it, so you might wanna use a shop vac. I'm just using my Dyson, and I'm starting at the top, I'm gonna to work my way to the bottom, and I start with the exterior surfaces and then I'll vacuum the interior surfaces. And you even wanna get things like the hinges because there will be dust everywhere. I'm using a brush attachment to do this vacuuming because that I find to be most effective for picking up the fine dust. And literally, I'm going into every nook and cranny, be it a cabinet, be it a drawer, be it a countertop, my vacuum will be kissing it. I'm vacuuming the floors because that's part of the process and I expect that I'll have to vacuum them at least one more time before this cleaning is done. Now I'll start with using an all-purpose cleaner, I'm just using dish soap and water, and spraying the entire interior of a cabinet. I'm starting at the top and working my way to the bottom. I'll get the backs, the sides, and the shelves, and I'll also get the hinges. Then I'm gonna do the inside of the door using an S pattern. And of course, I'll shut the doors, do an S pattern on the outside. This cabinet is done. I'll do the same thing for countertops, spraying all-purpose cleaner on, giving it a wipe with the S pattern, and then having a clean counter. Same thing applies to drawers. Give it a spray, give it a wipe. Now it's really important not to rush this job. I know you see me working in fast forward motion, but you have to take your time. That includes the baseboards or other hidden areas you wouldn't normally get to. For my glass cabinets, I've switched my cloth to a glass cleaning cloth and I've sprayed it with vinegar and water, just a simple glass cleaner. Of course, I'm wiping the glass shelves as well as the glass doors inside and outside. Wall cleaning is something that a lot of you ask me about and here's the way to do it. After a reno, your walls definitely get dusty. You'll be surprised. So just take a flathead mop, attach a microfiber cloth to it, give it a quick spritz with soapy water and mop your walls. And kitchen appliances definitely need some love too. I'm just using soapy water and a microfiber cloth here and wiping away that whole month of non-cleaning that is on the surface right now. If this was in another room, obviously your pieces of furniture would need a cleaning as well. I'm vacuuming the floors again because during my cleaning process, for sure some dust fell back on the ground. And depending on the intensity of your reno, you might have to vacuum your floors three or four times. Don't be too surprised. And just to be extra thorough, I'm going to pull out my appliances and clean behind them because heavens knows what fell back there during the reno. And now you can finally start replacing everything where it belongs. Now remember to wipe each item with a damp microfiber cloth before doing so because it's quite likely that anything in the house will have a thin to thick coating of post reno dust. Now, keep in mind that you might still see dust resettling over the next few days, but it will be gone within a week. It's just so fine that it's nearly impossible to remove all of it with one go, despite all of the effort you're putting into this cleaning. 
So I know that it looks like a lot of work, but I promise you, with this much effort, your newly renovated space will look usable, clean, and gorgeous in no time. This week's comment question is, what was the biggest reno nightmare that you dealt with? Let me know in the comments down below because I love hearing from you guys. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video. And if you'd like to start your journey to a cleaner life, click this button right here to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. As you can probably figure out, we filmed this video a few weeks ago, so we actually don't have any comments to respond to this week. But I do want to draw your attention to the very amazing video that we put out last week called 19 crazy things you can do with a lint roller. You can also check out our whole kitchen reno journey. You can see the beginning of the kitchen reno. That's the video in the middle. And then you can see the final reveal. And that's the video on the right hand side. Thanks guys and we'll see you next week.